Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for today's video. As you can see, your girl has a face full of makeup and I finally dived in to my newest, yeah, this is my newest addition to the family. This bad boy right here, the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 Eyeshadow Palette. There was so much hype around this palette and I was really excited that I woke up early, set my timers, kept hitting refresh, doing all that stuff so I could get the limited edition color. Trying to make sure I don't blind you guys, but isn't this beautiful? Her normal packaging is black, which I have another of her palettes here. Huge fan of Pat McGrath. Here's the black. But I just had to have this pink. Purple is my favorite color, but just the shifts in this make me feel like it's purplish, pinkish, rose gold. It's just beautiful. The colors inside. Let me just show you. You cannot tell me. Look at that. And this trichrome color right here. That is what I have all over my lid. I'm trying to show you like all the dimensions. This palette is gorgeous and I'm glad that I got it. And this was my first time doing a full look with it. So I felt like I should sit down and video it. And hopefully these lights do these colors justice. But I'm gonna stop running my mouth cause I could do this all day and we're gonna get into the tutorial. We're starting off with a completely blank canvas. The only thing I have on my eyes right now is concealer. When I did my makeup, I always put concealer on my eyes. I never know what eyeshadow look I'm gonna do. So I just put the concealer to even out my eyelids because they are a little darker around the lash line. I did not get the first one. I wasn't interested in the first one. I already have um, the bronze one, Sublime. Bronze, I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but the one that everybody loved that was neutrals and warm tones. And then I also got, oh goodness, Subversive. They're right behind me. Hold on. Okay, so of course they don't have the names on them, but I can show them to you. So of course I got this baby. And I know that this is Mothership 5. Bronze Seduction. You gotta say the whole name and then it comes out. And then I also got this bad boy. Now I got this one. This is Mothership 6. And I got this one for that bluish purplish color here. And then I love olive green. So plus there's some nice warm tones in here. This is a beautiful palette. I haven't played around with it much. I need to but that'll be later. Look at these colors. You cannot tell me that is not fire. You cannot. Let me swatch it for you. And I hope my lights are going to do this justice, but look at this on my finger. Can you see all the different colors? I might need to turn my lights down some but that baby is beautiful. Just look, what are we even talking about? Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna use that palette today. I've kind of played in it, I've swatched it, but I haven't actually used it. So here we go. I have no idea what I'm gonna put on my face. I don't because it is so pretty and I just wanna use everything and I know I can't. So, oh, I just can't wait. Okay, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the color Naked Blush and it's this pretty, if I drop this, I'm gonna be so mad at myself. This pretty, 
pink color right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. Let's see how it shows up. Ooh, okay. Let me turn these lights down just a little bit. And hopefully you guys are still getting the true color of what that looks like. So I'm just going to pack this into my lid. I start right in the crease and then I diffuse going upwards. Then I also put a little bit on my outer V. This hair is going to drive me nuts. On my outer V and I really blow it out because I want it to be diffused. And I'm going to do that on both sides. So again, start where I want it the most concentrated and then blow it out. Look how pretty that color is. I thought it wasn't going to show this well on me, but okay. I love pinks, purples, golds, greens, like all of them. So that's what we have for that. Next, I'm going to build my crease a little more and I'm going to take this darker purple color called Extreme Burgundy. And it's this color here. And I'm going to concentrate that in my crease to add some depth. Look how pretty that is. So right where I have a crease, where my eye caves in. Oh, that's a lot of pigment. Okay. Oh, I hope I don't have a lot of fallout. I meant to put powder. Look how beautiful that blends right into that other color. This is taking like, see, Palettes like this I love because I can have a look that looks like I tried so hard and did so much and it'll literally take me like 20 minutes. And notice how I can deepen that V with that same color so now it looks even darker. And that's the same color. No fallout, highlight's still there and it's not purple. So now I'm gonna do this on the other eye. Again, concentrating right in the crease first, pushing it in and then dragging it through. Bring you guys a little closer so you can see. And then blend upwards. Look at that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with the first color and just a little bit around the edges to make sure it's blended. Blend, blend, blend. I wish I would have known that when I first started doing makeup because my makeup was ridiculous and not in a good way. Okay, so now, because I want to be fancé, I'm going to kind of do a little cut crease. Not really, but a little bit. And I'm going to take this P. Louise Makeup Base. This is lighter than my skin tone, but I'm going to use it to carve out my eyelid. Use only a tiny bit. I'm going to put it on this flat concealer brush. And I mean, when I say a little bit, like... I'm starting off <laughs> with this little dot because I can always add more, but it's really hard to cut the crease if you put too much. So just this little bit. And then I'm going, I'm going to start lower on my lid to get the most of the product right there. It's okay if I get it on my lashes and I'm going to bring it inside to the innermost corner and now I'm going to start to carve. So I'm just gonna drag upwards. 
And I don't want this to be white because I'm not doing like a super drastic cut crease or anything like that. But I do want it lighter so that the colors can pop. Just want to make sure that's a clean line. And now you have a clear definition. Now everything in me is screaming to go for that duochrome color. But then I kind of want to use the pink. Ugh. I'm going to do the, man, <laughs> um, hmm, I'm going to do the duochrome. I have to, trichrome, excuse me. Mother Pack came with three shifts, not just two. So first I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to try it with a brush and see how that applies. Um, colors like this, I normally use my finger, but let's see. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to pat this on my lid because I want it to stay concentrated and I don't want it to fall on my face. Now the thing with this color is it because of how it shifts. There's going to be some ways that I turn my eye and it's going to look darker and then other ways where it's going to look light. It's going to look pink. It's going to look a little gold. That is gorgeous. I'm going to put a little bit of the darker pink color and that one is called, let me not get this wrong, Rose Seduction. I'm using the same brush and I'm just going to put that on the edge here to help blend. I'm so tempted to do something different with the other eye, but oh, I won't be extra today. We're going back in with that pink just to concentrate it a little more. That is so pretty. And then on my inner corner, I'm going to go with the gold. The gold color is called Bronze Rose 006. And again, just taking that on my brush and I'm going to put that right on the inner corner. Oh, yes. Mm, I want that a little brighter. I'm going to go in with Astral Pink Moon because I want some shine and I'm going to spray my brush to make sure this doesn't fall on my face. I just put a little bit on the tip of the brush, spray, and then right on the inner corner. Yes, there it is. Ooh wee. Now that's beautiful. Shine bright like a diamond, boo. Okay, now I'm going to try to go in and deepen up my V just a little bit more. I'm extra and I like this to be dark. So again, concentrated just there. Perfect. And then come back again with the blush color and right along the edge to soften it. Now why is this hair? And that's it. 
for the eye look. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. Both eyes are done. Guys, I love the way this looks. Like, just look at this shift. I'm not even done yet, but just, can we just take a moment? Okay, <laughs> I could do this all day. I'm gonna do my bottom lash line now, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the same colors I put on the top and I'm gonna put them on the bottom. I'm gonna start with the darker purple color and just put that on the outer B, just to tie everything together. And then I'm gonna go in with that magenta pink. And I'm gonna put that in the middle. Sorry guys, if you can't see this, there you go. I'm really gonna kill myself if I just had this mirror in front of the camera. So many little things you have to pay attention to. And I'm not used to doing my makeup on camera, so bear with me, please. I'm gonna do something different and take this other color called Divine Dusk. And it's this pretty shimmery, purplish color and I'm going to put that on the bottom inner third of my eye just because why not oh lordy Barbara lash line not your eyeball just to kind of bring everything together The bottom lash line is done and it's basically just mimicking except for that color I added at the end everything else at the top so now I'm going to do my wing liner and you know there was no way I'm not gonna wing this out So I always start right at the lash line. And then I draw my wing tied from the bottom lash line up. Depending on your mood, you take this out as far as you want to. And I come back here and I just line the top of my lid. I like it a little bold, so I definitely want it to show. And then I tie this together. That is the easiest way I have found to do my wing liner. I know people do it different ways. This is what works for me. And there you go. I'll do the other real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, wings are done. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of liner into my bottom lash line. And I'm just taking a black eyeliner pencil. This is by NARS. This is their larger than life pencil. It's a trial size that I got, a little mini. And I'm just going to put this right on the bottom lash line and connect it. I'm not going to bring it all the way on the inside because I want the color on the inside to be focused on the pinks that we did. So this is just going to be on the outer third. Like that. 
I'm going to put on some mascara and some lashes. I'm really gonna leave and come back and do this because lashes can be really hit or miss for me sometimes and it's a whole process. So I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on and this is it. I am absolutely, I keep looking at myself in my viewfinder. I am absolutely in love with how this turned out. Like if you can see, I hope my lights are doing this justice. This color, it's amazing. And it took me no time to do this at all, which is one thing I love about Pat McGrath shadows. They're so easy to blend. They all work together. You can use the mattes as your base in the crease. You can use the shimmers as well because they blend out so effortlessly. So yeah, I just, I can't stop looking at myself. I'm sorry. I love this look. I hope you guys like it. Again, I used the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. I was so happy to get my hands on it. I believe this is still on sale at Sephora. I'm not sure if it's on Pat McGrath's website. I'm just trying to let y'all see what we're working with. I can't help it, but this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. This is my first one. I plan on doing a lot more because eyeshadow is literally my favorite thing. If you have questions, post them below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like how the look turned out. Of course you do, how could you not? And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel for future content and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you will get a notification every time that I upload. I have a workout video coming next. I'm still sore from that. So I'm gonna share it with you guys, but thanks again for watching and see you soon. Bye.